Din and Dan, very nice to meet you, especially at this marvelous place. How are you today? Good, good. We're happy. Our show was yesterday, so the show's finished. It was a well, long day. Um, we're holding out. I guess you're really busy. Yes. I mean, now today we have uh, to explain the collection, the men's collection, to all the, the buyers and all the, the sellers. And uh, we take them through it. And so we have a lot of people in the office today correct some things, edit some things, edit the collection. And then tomorrow we're in the factory working on the women's collection for the Which show. has to be ready in a month. So, mm -hmm. so boom, it's busy. Boom, boom. When we come to Italy, it's like we work very early and very late for a good few or four days. And then uh, it's a lot. It's mm -hmm. a lot compacted in a day. But we still have to eat them. A moment to relax. This is our restaurant, Teresa mm -hmm. 7. Uh, it's on the top of our headquarters. A wonderful view. So it makes city. it convenient, you know, from downstairs, upstairs, and get the job done. Do you have time for lunch every day? Yes, it's important to eat every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we do actually. I think that's probably uh, time. Italian timetables. Uh -huh. They always stop. No matter how busy you are, we always stop and we eat. Maybe you'll work later. You know, we'll work till 11 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock at night, but <clears throat> we'll. They make room for it. What do you prefer for lunch? All types of food, actually. I mean, the food here uh, is quite light. It's Italian, but it's, it's light. We have a wonderful chef, Elio Cerrone, and uh, he's a Michelin star chef. And uh, he has a really wonderful way of making Italian food less calories and less heavy. Oh. <laughs> How do you stay so fit? We're kind of pretty busy boys, oh, so we're running around right. and we're always having a bag. So <laughs> yeah. It's like we're at the gym all the time. I running because we're going to miss the flight yeah. or running because yeah. we're going to be somewhere else or running because we're always late. Do you like some sweet cakes? I love. No, That's yeah, him. I'm a very sweet too. I prefer, I prefer he eats more dessert than he eats food, the, the main meal. Which is your favorite? I love... Um, I love strawberry. I like chocolate. I like chocolate mousse. Mm -hmm. Chocolate souffle. What do you like to wear? I mean, we wear mostly everything, but I mean, we have our staples, the things that we look best in. And we could never shirt, do it. A white shirt, oh, good, good jeans. Jean. And I think coats, you know, a lot of, we have a lot of different kind of coats because it's the outer piece, it's the thing you see. And, you know, we're fortunate that we can have more than one. So it's, um, it's just, they're key pieces to have. And good shoes. It's, it's a, it's a no-brainer, it's yeah. just like easy, you just go and put it on and it's no thinking. Mm -hmm. So when you were fast days to pack, it's easy to pack and it's easy. How much time do you spend in the morning to choose the outfit? Oh, like five minutes. Not... Oh, so quick, just five minutes. Well, yeah, it's kind because... of like a costume, you know, you know, okay, or it's a white shirt or it's a turtleneck. Or... Mm -hmm. it's unless you're, you know, you're, it's um, an event, then you have to give a little bit more time to think of what we're wearing. But also because we're traveling a lot, we do travel with certain things. And I mean, we're only in Italy for a couple of days and then we're going to Paris and we have to fly back to London. And so, I mean, when we're always on the go, we kind of do those obvious you know, One jacket that, that can take you through, a, you know, mm -hmm. four white shirts, one gray jacket, two pairs of jeans, and one boot and one shoe, and a couple coats. And then you're... Do you have a favorite city or place where you spend most of your time? We like the sun. Yeah, so I mean, so, uh, it's Brazil, warm. Brazil's probably a place we love to go. Um, Mykonos. And Mykonos in the and summer. Oh. Where, is sun? where are sun bunnies? I think sun is energy, you know. If it's sunny outside, you wake up, you're in a good mood. California. Yeah. What is the most important in your job? The most important thing for us is loving something that you do. Uh, and if you if you love some, what you do, it's, it's not really work. And, always you're always thinking about it it's not like you just turn it off i think that's the beauty of fashion um you know, yeah you live it mm -hmm. but i feel good when i have a list of things to do and i go like that <laughs> done 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 because we have a lot of things to do your advice to men how to look so cool to know your body i yes. think men need to understand what looks good on them and what doesn't look good on them um, proportion wise you know, fit wise I mean, I love my skinny little jean, and I love a bigger oh, thing. But also, we're not so tall, so you have to be careful on lengths you know, length of things, because it can make you look shorter. Or... Some men have bigger shoulders, some men have no smaller shoulders. So you know, if you have a smaller shoulder, you should have something that's a bit more structured. And if you have big shoulders, less structure is better. I mean, we try to help them out in the, in the tailored 
where we have five different cuts of jackets. So, um, and we call them by a different city, or like a different by a different body type. So maybe uh, the Tokyo is a little bit shorter, works for shorter people. The Milan has a little bit more room. For the pasta, pasta. Uh, Paris is skinnier. Miami so has big shape shoulder. muscles. So oh. we kind of work it out. How would you describe the style of the square now? Sexy, uh, modern, individual, and fun. Mm -hmm. Well said. What can you say about your last collection? Very got a fresh sense. I mean, it's uh, some new proportions, some new silhouettes, a little bit relaxed. A lot of volumes that move, a lot of bigger volumes on the top. Um, uh, good tailoring. Good tailoring, a good mix, you know. I think it's nice when you have a mix of tailoring, a bit of casual, some great denim, some very worked denim, um, some cool prints, some cool color. Um, just a nice mix of things that uh, can satisfy a lot of people. What is more difficult to do? Collections for men or for women? Women, absolutely. More just, and, and somehow also, the body types can change a lot too, you know, so guys seem to be a little bit more, you know. I think men are just kind of getting into fashion and women have been into fashion for so long and, and they're a little bit more critical. I mean, so I think women are more critical about fashion than men. Men are very knowledgeable and they're getting into it now, but I think women are more tough. But I think the only good thing, I mean, there's more options for girls. You can wear a dress, you can wear pants. So uh, that, in, in, for that sense, it's, it's nice because there's more things you can do. But it's just... Um, and I think you can be more experimental yeah. with women, too, because men are a little bit um, stubborn and a little bit not that open. What is your favorite accessory? Um, Diamond. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think shoes are always really great yeah. and really important because shoes kind of set the mood and, and set the energy of, of how you feel. Do you have an icon? Azadine. As kids, we always loved Azadine Alaya. I think he was his... a true fashion hero. Do you have time for hobby? A little bit. I mean, not a lot. I mean, our job is kind of our hobby. I mean, uh -huh. it's, it's very creative and very um, fulfilling. So, uh, but if we can get, if we're by a beach, you know, where there's sun, we love um, you know, wakeboarding, wakeboarding and and water sports, water sports, yeah, mm -hmm. and snowboard. Wow, uh, snowboard. Yeah. So, anything with a board, surfing. I really like the restaurant. Can you tell me about this place? Well, it's going to be... So it's going to be three years in, in September. September. Uh, it's on uh, the rooftop of our Milan headquarters. It's an old building built by Mussolini in the 20s. 1929. And uh, we've constructed two pools. It's kind of got a little bit of a 30s slash 50s vibe. Um, kind of like a diner meets pool hall meets kind of a chic bar. Thank you so much for a great interview. Very nice to meet you. You too. Nice to meet thank you. Thank you for taking the time. If you enjoyed your lunch and thank you World Fashion, Fashion Channel, Channel for tuning in and spending this lunch with us.